Kimchi is an emblem of fermented foods. The Korean dietary staple contains a rich world of microbes. The benefits of eating kimchi including strengthening the immune system. Kimchi is a traditional food that everyone eats in South Korea. Kimchi consists of fermented vegetables, such as greens, cucumbers, radishes, and cabbage and it is a way that vegetables were preserved long before refrigeration. Vegetables are brined with salt, which increases the lactic acid bacteria content, and it is the live bacterial cultures that make kimchi so healthy. Eating kimchi contains lactic acid bacteria cause the body to produce immunoglobulins in the gut, which turns into egg, which helps fight viral infections. Lactic acid bacteria contained in kimchi, including lactobacillus acidophilus, leuconostoc, and wicella, are the main bacteria responsible for its health-promoting properties. These probiotic strains have a number of powerful health-promoting properties, including improving cardiometabolic health. Kimchi helps to increase bacterial diversity in our microbiota, which many of us lack. Many of us are low in Acromantia mucinophila, which is the good bacteria that's known to produce mucin, which helps to produce the mucus barrier in our intestines. The researchers thus believe that kimchi probiotics can also prevent influenza and immune system disorders. Interestingly, they found that using the probiotics as an alternative to antibiotics also produced healthier chickens. But the question today is, is kimchi really effective to COVID-19? Kimchi may be able to fight certain types of coronaviruses, but not severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, the pathogen causing coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19. A few weeks ago, reports of the ability of the traditional Korean dish, cabbages fermented with spices, to prevent the infection circulated on the internet, but health officials were quick to debunk such claims. Eating kimchi does not prevent coronavirus infection, South Korea's health ministry said in a news release, according to the Washington Post. The best way to prevent the novel coronavirus is to wash hands frequently. The ministry also rejected claims that kimchi can spread the virus. The disease cannot spread even if the dish, or any other parcel, had come from China, it added. Aside from long-held beliefs that kimchi cures all manner of illnesses, the assumption that it could somehow fight COVID-19 likely sprung from the fact that its probiotics can combat certain types of coronaviruses. During the spread of the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus MERS-CoV, in South Korea in 2015, a team of researchers found that the lactic acid bacteria in kimchi are effective in both preventing and treating MERS. Here is a video from Arirai News on how kimchi combats MERS. Now, the MERS outbreak appears to be winding down here in Korea, as we just mentioned. But researchers are always, always on the lookout for new ways to treat viruses like MERS. And based on results gleaned from animal testing, a team of researchers here in Korea has found that lactic acid bacteria in kimchi is affected, effective rather, in preventing and treating similar viruses. Park se has this report. Lactic acid bacteria found in kimchi are known to have numerous health benefits. In the past year, Korean scientists discovered its effectiveness in preventing and treating viral diseases like Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. All 2,000 pigs infected with coronaviruses recovered completely a week after they were injected with the healthy bacteria. Lactic acid bacteria from kimchi protects us from viruses by increasing immune globulin A in the intestine. The body then produces more immune globulin G, or inferion gamma, to prevent viral infection. The study, conducted by university professors from Korea and Malaysia, found that using probiotics as an alternative to antibiotics also produce healthier chickens. The researchers also believe kimchi probiotics can prevent influenza and immune system disorders in humans. At a hospital in Gyeonggi-do province, some patients with respiratory problems are already being administered to healthy bacteria. Once proven effective, the researchers plan to initiate full-scale clinical trials. Park Se-young, Arirang News.